All right, everyone here is worse than anyone in Madre Linda. All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching You Season 4, Episode 1. Now, we're on to a brand new season of You. I am very, very excited for this season. I've heard a lot of good things about this season, but I've also heard it has mixed opinions on it. Like, it, I've heard some, from some people it was really good and really unpredictable, but then from other people I've heard it's kind of okay. But we'll just have to see for ourselves, you know? We'll have to judge that based on our own watch. In the last episode, he killed Love. She did not make it out of last season. I kind of figured she had to die in season three. You didn't want to kill her off in season two because we're Repetitive of season one, but you didn't want to keep her alive for too long because then it's like, well, is she ever gonna die? And then they, they gotta mix it up each season. So each season has been very unique, which is which has been really fun for the show. So I'm excited to see how they mix it up in this. But yeah, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that will be available on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes of you. Season four will also be available on Patreon and YouTube membership. So click the join button down below. But anyways. Let's get started. Hello. Aw, Beck. Okay, don't get me wrong. I loved love. I do kind of miss Beck. He lied to you. And I'm sorry, what? What if I told you Joe's the one who killed your ex? See, like, the thing about Marion is, though, she's... I'm assuming she's a normal person. She's not like Love. So she's gonna be just like Beck. Love made it unique because she was just as psycho as Joe. So as soon as Marion finds out who Joe really is, it's just gonna be the same thing as Beck, I'm guessing. I don't know, I'm sure I'm sure the show will mix it up somehow, but like stuff. I had to leave him behind for now. The hardest thing I've ever done. Yep, he left Henry with Dante and Lansing. When I went to find you, I told myself this is the last time. Okay, bud. Mm, are we in London? She was good. She's in heaven. So the only way he'll feel her love again is if he goes to heaven too. There he is, and he has the beard now too. I've been waiting for the beard, I'm not gonna lie. I've been waiting until we get here because before I even started the, before I started the show, I saw a picture of him with the beard. So I've always known about it. Happy we're here now. Dean was probably picturing more Hemingway, but hey, I was a last minute hire. All right, so he's a teacher like or professor now over in London. There are tricks to being a professor like this. Same Chang isn't actually saying the highest redemption is doing good. He's saying it's just love. Well, most of my <laughs> professor. All of literature. Hyperbole. These two are going to kill each other or get married by the end of term. Well, spoken like somebody that's never felt love. They emphasize this girl before, as Joe is walking in the room, so she's going to be a character like Ellie, I'm guessing. I don't think he falls in love with her because he's after Marion. Like a poet once said, heartbreak is our greatest teacher, and if so, thank you for making me wise. <laughs> All right, well, Joe got this apartment location for a reason. He hasn't found Marion yet, so there's no reason for him to get this so he could spy on her, but he, he definitely got this to spy on somebody. That's what he did in LA. That's why he got his apartment where he did. But it's what's happening at my back window across the alley that is mm. of my particular interest. I don't think Malcolm knew about the view when he recommended this flat. Is she his girlfriend? What kind of woman? No, no, I'm not interested. No people, <laughs> not interested no people so he's talking to us now i don't want to know yes yes you do the best way to stay out of people's business is to know what that business is <laughs> now how about her she kind of looks like aria like low-key she does i don't think it's her but from that angle right there it does okay i kind of feel like he's gonna get obsessed with that girl you know and then he's gonna find marion later on like mid-season he's not gonna find her with every artist haunted Paris. I visited them over and over. I knew I was close, and fate finally rewarded me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's hers. May I? Yeah, of course. I love this artist. Do you have any more of their work, or...? or... She may take some time to get back to you. She's in London to visit the Acanthus Art Fair. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he originally went to France. That's why he went to London. about a mugger joe's gonna stop him and look friendly yeah. uh, oh shit no no oh this joe you gotta do something you gotta do something i can't get involved this is just a friendly good deed oh. smart joe 
kind of thought Joe was about to kill him. Are you okay? I fucking hated that watch. I should probably report it in case they come back and attack a student. Fuck my life! Cops would not be good for me. What? Just say it! Can you maybe don't mention me? My work visa is shaky. So I just had to do it, didn't I? I had to go and save her. Did a good thing, but yeah, it could get you in trouble. From now on, no matter what, low profile. Mm hmm. And most of all, stay away from both of them. This reminds me of a Beck and Benji situation right now. Can I call you John Boy? It's like how cats sense you're allergic and jump right in your lap. <laughs> Are you a peeping Tom, John Boy? No hand shandies over my girl. Do you hear? <laughs> Any of my girls. Yep, mm. still hate this guy. Yeah. Thank you for Kate. Used to be a time when any trouble you found in London was a trouble you weren't looking for. Yeah, actually here in like real life, London's a pretty bad place. There's a lot of robberies going on now. A lot of stabbings, people get stabbed there a lot. You wore a watch out in public, it's gone. And they just stole a watch from her, so. You saved Kate's life. I am repaying you. Mm -hmm. We leave in half an hour. All right, see what kind of angle they're paying this guy in. Like, like he's doing a nice gesture, but he's forcing Joe to go. Whatever, and he's pushing it on him, but he thinks he's just doing a really nice thing, and like he's just painfully unself-aware. This is Simon Sue. I'm sure Simon Sue's record-breaking art sales have nothing to do with his dad being a billionaire. <laughs> Simon Painstaking. <laughs> this is Jonathan Moore. I have too many friends. <laughs> on her body is a sponsorship deal. It's so greedy. I'm almost impressed. But while studying for the bar in Mykonos, realized that making a career on likes and follows requires a lot less reading. Oh, American, are we? Careful. They will have guns. <laughs> yeah, I feel like being American over in London, they're gonna hate you so much. I'm not sure any of these people even like each other. They're all just so obscenely rich. It's like a mandatory club. London's like worse than LA, bro. <laughs> like, I wonder what Joe would sound like with a British accent, though. <laughs> My boyfriend. An American. All of this is daddy's money built by a rich kid with no understanding of real work to impress other rich kids. Loving the whole off the rack vibe. <laughs> Thanks. Ding. Uh, Ling. My we have a winner. No, wait, hold on. Let me guess. No, this is about to turn into a bed. And last time you lost your flat in Marrakesh over a bloody shoe size. Uh, everyone here is worse than anyone in Madre Linda. Possibly be that funny. <laughs> this guy's cool. Reese Montrose. Him and Joe are gonna be cool. Oh, I wrote that book. I have a strong feeling we're gonna get a Game of Thrones character in this season. We have to, dude. We have to. Like, I would, I would not mind a Richard Madden, Kit Harrington cameo character. You know, something like that. Cause like, dude, they're all British, so like, they easily could. Drink. Just you let must. me go. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the way she looked at Joe. Tell us, Jonathan, mm. why are you here? Shit. Did you kill someone? I can always tell. My cousin killed someone. Accident. No, yeah, excuse me. Oh, did someone hurt you? Was it a woman? Is that what happened? You're saying that like pretentious? What? Oh my god, why are you giving me those eyes? What? Did you break my heart, Marianne? Do you mean that sincer sincerely? You changed. The buttoned up Madre Linda librarian was gone. But it was you. Mm, he probably didn't approach her right here. Oh god, she looks scared. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't want anything to do with Joe after what love told her. What's it matter? I followed a woman to Paris. It's the most romantic city in the world. And then she broke my heart. Bro, she didn't break her heart. Told her things about me. That. That. The burden of our decade. Women believing women. Like, they don't lie and cheat and fuck. They do it more than She her. wasn't like that. I'll tell you something. As a friend, you're embarrassing yourself. <sighs> Sitting here all loved up over some silly whore who couldn't give two shits about you. Ooh. She's already riding the next cop as we... Fuck the pain away. There are plenty of holes in Soho. If I could move, I'd kill this guy. Yeah, that Joe does not want to hear that about Marion. Fuck, how did I get here? What is she talking about? Tasted both middle <laughs> Joe's blacking out. <laughs> get me off this ride. <laughs> What's he wearing? Make her cry. What 
and I do. I'm in hell. Nice fur coat. Well, I made it home, at least. Whose coat is this? This <laughs> does it. Time to get this one home. Couch. New day. No more craziness. Back to the quiet. Mm, oh no. Is he dead? He's just passed out, huh? <gasps> Wait, what the fuck? Wait, what? How? Jo how? How? Joe, yeah, Joe must have blocked, killed him when he blocked out. No, there's no way. Joe, you gotta reverse engineer the situation. Okay, this is like Delilah all over again, but there's literally no one who could have, like, no one we could suspect. We don't know any of these characters super well. What the? Oh, his finger got cut off. Pinky's gone. Oof. Oh. She reported him missing already? No, no, they must be here to take her statement about the mugging. It probably is, because it's too early. I've got till dark to figure out what the hell to do with him. And mentally prepare to drive on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> Sure, I've always thought about what if I went to another country and started driving, dude. All my muscle memory is built on being the, on the right side of the road, you know? I'm sure it would be fine driving on the left side, but like still, I feel, it, would be, it would feel so weird. I thought you'd be happy to see me. I thought you loved me. I did. Well, I'm right here. And I know a lot has happened. No. Juliet's in Paris. She expects me home tomorrow. I mean, yeah, she thinks Joe's gonna kill her, but... You killed Ryan! Mm -hmm. He took your child! And your wife! Mm -hmm. If you're standing here, then love didn't kill you. Yeah. You killed her, yeah. didn't you? Not that hard to put two and two together right there. There have been more? No, there has been more. That's the only two, I swear. You act like it's, like it's not you. Like, you're, you're just a good man who did a bad thing. That's exactly what Joe thinks. You're a murderer, Joe. <laughs> You're wrong about me. Oh, I wish. I wish I was. Joe thinks it's the only choice he has. Bro thinks he's Anakin Skywalker. With that moral dilemma. <laughs> Looked at me with so much fear. I couldn't stand it. Man, I would never hurt you. Mm. Oop, is that a PI or something? I don't think Jorah. Jorah Mormont, like Loki, like only a little bit though. It's not him, but I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to find a Game of Thrones game, you know, so. Looks like I have half a soccer game to do this. Yes, I know that's not what they call it. <laughs> it's called football here. Like million dollar deals, where's my pen? Bitch, I'm signing. What the like fuck? A Prince Albert. Okay, I didn't expect to see his dick right there. And secondly, that fool is fucking hung. Was not expecting him to have a fucking missile on him. <laughs> Hope his dick just falls on the tarp. <laughs> Bro, that shit was like this long. <laughs> Joe Quinn Goldberg. Mm. Thought you'd be more, um. It's P.I. I don't know. Dead. This is an issue. Loves PI. You know my employer, Ray Quinn. Yep. Your former father in law. Yep. So are you here to take me back? No, I'll kill you. Mm. Is Love's father know you like think you killed her and put a hit out on you? He hired a mercenary. What I'd like is to uh, just be done, you know? Not hurt anyone anymore. Mm. It would cost more than Ray pays. Like all the money, Love had in that one account. Or you might not know she had that. You should be able to get any job you want. You just keep a low profile. Don't get into any shit. Just disappear. Be Jonathan. Mm. I'll sure rig your dead and then fuck off into the sunset. Jonathan could be your chance too, you know, to make some different choices. The girl you follow, Marion Bellamy, she knows you're alive. Black, I just know. I failed. You were right. Someone's gonna find these these bags. This water's not deep enough. All jokes aside, 
My guess is that you have had a truly hellish life. The kind that not everyone survives. And so you're fairly deeply damaged. Therefore, you're capable of doing real damage. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm supposed to be defensive right now, but I'm, I'm not. Can't erase any of it. So now I just try to do a, a bit of good moving forward, just something, mm -hmm. which includes protecting the people that I love. So you believe it's possible, redemption? I think yes. As long as they commit to never run from themselves. Face it all, no matter what. <sighs> See, this isn't good advice for Joe. Easy, right? Joe needs to run as far away as humanly possible from himself. Reinvent his entire personality and mind and soul. Yeah. Uh, uh, you left Sundry House with Malcolm the other night, didn't you? Mm. Have you seen him today, by any chance? He wasn't in his office. No. No, I haven't. It... He must be at the house in Surrey writing poetry. Not a poetry fan. Okay. Noted. Mm. Now that Malcolm's dead, they can fall in love with each other. Wait, what? A little soiree for Simon. Why well, can't I? I have papers to grade. Oh, God, you Americans and your fetish for work. Mm. So this is England. We have dinner here. Phoebe insisted I invited you. I don't know what you said to her, but she's obsessed with you. Mm. Don't know what I said either, but... Oi! <laughs> Oi! Where did you go? <laughs> Interrupted his narration. Who oh, butchers in this? <laughs> And when it comes to randos sniffing around my friends, well, maybe you do want absolutely nothing, but I'm not going to pretend it isn't suspect. Mm. Checkmate. Well, then I would love to come. Love? That escalated quickly. Is that not a term you guys use? All right. For my life, I told the police I didn't see who saved me. Mm. Yeah, they're definitely going to have a thing going. That's going to be the new girl Joe's obsessed with. Or the show just wants us to think that, and it's not going to be her, so... I don't think it's gonna be Phoebe. I feel like Phoebe and Joe is just gonna be like a one-way dynamic where Phoebe just likes Joe and Joe's just like, eh. Like Phoebe's not gonna be able to impress Joe enough to make him like her. You surprised me handling Malcolm what? like that. Here I thought when I left him on your table, you'd go down from my sins. Oh my God. I didn't. Yeah, okay, yeah, Joe didn't do it. Who are you? Who am I? Who are you? Yeah. Someone. More. Where's your family from? One of them. And who's this sad baby Tarsia? <laughs> so one of them murdered Malcolm. And we gotta figure it out. Plan to put it on me. Did you kill someone? What you are is your problem. God and damn it. Why are you- Oh, uh, we got another murder mystery. I guess that's the season. All right, well that was season four, episode one. I like this episode. I like where this is headed. Now, are they just gonna do like a total 180 on us in two episodes? This, we're gonna be completely over this? Like, that's how season three was. Season three had like its own like mini arcs. It's a murder mystery now. Who killed Malcolm and placed him in Joe's apartment? Uh, I, I couldn't fucking tell you, dude. I have no idea. I don't know any of these characters at all. Like, I don't even know anyone's name, to be honest. I remember Adam and Malcolm and yeah, that's about it. <laughs> okay, Malcolm's like girlfriend, whatever. I think her and Joe are gonna fall in love with each other. But he's gonna be obsessed with her because Marion wants nothing to do with Joe anymore. I don't know. I still think Marion's gonna be in the season, but she's gonna be kind of avoiding Joe the entire time. He's gonna try and like win her back while becoming more romantically involved with that other girl. I think that's where this is gonna go. Um, also, we didn't get the cage yet. I wonder if Joe has the cage. No, I guess he could have just left it in Love's Bakery just because yeah, she killed everyone, you know, that's how he framed it up to be. And so yeah, he could have just left it there, but, and like, how the fuck would he get it to London? So, okay. Yeah, I, I don't think he has the cage any, anymore. If he does, I'll be shocked. Like, how the hell could he have brought it all the way to Europe? I don't know. But yeah, I can't wait to see where this season goes. So, comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.